Your instructor is one of the finest pilots this program has ever produced. His exploits are legendary. What he has to teach you may very well mean the difference between life and death. Good morning, aviators. This is your captain speaking. Today's exercise is dogfighting. All jokes aside, I do have some stuff to show you guys, some tips and tricks, and uh, some controller settings. So I do hope you enjoy the video, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so... If you're not on Xbox, this is probably a reason why you should be. Alright, so for my flares, I went ahead and remapped to my bumpers. Now, depending on how you accelerate, whether if you use your triggers or your bumpers, um, I'm not too sure. Me, I use my triggers for my acceleration. So, the reason why I have my uh, bumpers for my flares, watch, you'll see later on in the video, so, you know, so that way you don't have to take your your thumbs from the sticks or your paddles all right so for my bottom right paddle that'll be the gun uh my bottom left paddle will be the missiles and my upper paddles will be my rudders so that's what you guys are gonna have to get used to to doing or whatever um the left stick uh curve adjustment i use uh the smooth i mean this is all personal preference you guys can capitalize this on any way whichever way you want to if you guys have better settings then please uh be sure to share them in the comments you know not only myself will appreciate them but i'm sure other people will too you know um for my uh triggers i do kind of have them set in instant uh, again this is personal preference you don't have to have them set instant um whenever i'm playing i just I don't use my trigger locks for this game. Like if I'm using like a like, like if I'm playing like a first person shooter, then I'll use my trigger locks. But for this game, they're not really needed. But I do kind of set my my triggers to to instant. And FYI, I am left handed, so if you guys want to choose, or I mean, if you want to switch your your bottom uh, right paddle the the gun with the with the missile then you know by all means and then please be sure to to do that um here's the settings for for the game i'm pretty sure everyone pretty much almost plays the same you know with the with the expert control type and i i play inverted on pretty much all my games i played it inverted all my life pretty much all right so now we are getting ready to take off i'm gonna go ahead and just show little bit of gameplay here and talk about some tips and techniques you know see like if you guys see my my gameplay my movements you would think I might be playing like on mouse and keyboard or something I'm honestly not I'm just using regular controller um, so whenever you're locked on to a individual target and you hold down the Y button which will be the the top face button or whatever like the it'll be a triangle on playstation or y on xbox so if you hold that button down you'll stay uh in visual sight of the target that you're locked onto and that is also how you switch your targeting system by pressing y back and forth to different targets so whenever i'm using my paddles i'm really using my middle fingers for the upper paddles and I'm using my uh, ring fingers for my, my bottom ones. So for my gun, I'll use my my right ring, ring finger for that one. Um, then for uh, the missiles, you know, my left one. So that is something you're going to kind of want to get used to doing. Um, whenever you're holding Y looking onto your target and you have them in your sight, you can go ahead and just click off if you want to. And then you'll line up a lot better. Or you can stay choosing to hold down Y and just... It'll make it a little more difficult to line up your shot, but, I mean, the more skill it takes, the merrier, you know, so, you know, that's why I choose to, to play like this, um, yeah, so, if you're gonna be playing this game, and you wanna practice, then I would recommend, uh, just guns only, 
guns only and you're going to be on and off your rudders constantly you know on your paddles um and you're going to constantly be on and off your triggers too just trying to either slow down just enough to get get behind uh your target or you know sometimes you gotta pull some high g turns you know and try to evade missiles so you gotta speed up and get out of there you know um so yeah i do really recommend using guns only for certain matches just go like uh like the first match like how i'm playing here i'm just practicing just go in there and just practice shooting i've done this so many times you know so you see me here firing off missiles here and there but just go in there and just use your guns only and um, just practice just over and over, you know. Um, I mean, if you want, you can turn off the HUD, you can turn off the game, uh, the voice, the sound or whatever. Um, so that way it's not so distracting. So that is one thing I do recommend doing right there. Definitely practice using all the different fighter jets from the A-10 to the F-16s. F-18, you know, the F-4s, um, any of the MiGs will do just fine. Definitely practice with each and every one so that way you guys can really develop um, when to use your speed and when to know when to slow down exactly and exactly what jet is capable of doing what. Of course, the F-22 Raptor will be capable of pretty much anything, you know, so try somewhat to avoid using that one not entirely like if you really want to practice then use uh the f-15 and the f-22 raptor back and forth you know so for dog fighting guns only or if you guys just want to hit ground targets uh, even uh practice using uh gun guns only on ground targets you know i do that as well too so sometimes in order to be able to hit your target you gotta climb way high above them so you gotta gain some altitude and you kind of want to just drop down in on behind them or you can come up uh low you know vice versa low and then try to you know get up behind them and shoot them down from there or attack from out of the sun or out of the clouds you know you guys need to work on uh your split s turns and your one circle uh, nose to nose fight or your two circle nose to tail fight. Um, you know, there's a lot of little variables and geometry that actually go into all this, you know. So it's, sometimes it's not all too, too easy. Some, you know, sometimes, you know, we make it look easy, but I struggle myself with a lot of the... Uh, the videos and clips I make sometimes, you know, sometimes it actually takes me a while to make the clips. <laughs> but, you know, I, I manage, I manage, and I hope you guys enjoy them. Right, so with the new fighters, with the F-14 and the F-18, they did uh, add the post stall maneuver, which I think is pretty cool. So, if you see my, uh, my hand movements there, um, I tried to have my girl help me and we tried to record it the best I could, but so what you're going to want to do is pull down both triggers or what, whichever buttons you use to accelerate and de-accelerate de and pull down on the stick and let go of your left trigger and hold down the, the left stick and the right trigger and make sure your speed is under 400 miles per hour. It'll always be easier whenever you're in the 300s around that range. So just keep that in mind right there. All right, so that's just gonna about do it for this video. I hope you guys are able to follow what I said pretty clearly. I always feel that I could have made the video a little better. If you liked the video, please uh, consider leaving a like. If you didn't, dislike, uh, leave a comment. Let me know why you didn't like the video. Um, I always appreciate some, some feedback, whether if it's negative, positive, doesn't matter to me. Uh, I'm not going to cry about it. Uh, so, yeah, it's just going to about do it for this one. Um, if you guys are able to pick up on any information and you found it useful, then please be sure to let me know. You know, have a good one. Stay safe. Peace.